In this video, I'm talking all about nested sequences, subsequences, what the difference between these two are, and why you would use one over the other. So let's get right into the video. So Premiere Pro is an incredible piece of video editing software, as you probably know. But there's so many different hidden features and different things in Premiere that do slightly different things to one another. And the one of the things that always gets people slightly confused is subsequences and nested sequences because on paper, they essentially do the same thing, but there is a very subtle difference. So let me first begin by explaining what a nested sequence and a subsequence does. Essentially, it just groups a bunch of clips together and throws them into a different sequence to the sequence that you're working in. There is a very big difference between these things though, and I'm gonna talk about that right now. So we've got three video clips on the timeline. If we were to nest these sequences, we would select all three right click and go into nest. Now that would ask us to create a nested sequence name. So we'll leave this as nested sequence 02 for now. And as you can see, we've got our video clips inside another sequence. But the thing with a nested sequence is it's collapsed all of those video clips together into one video. So those three videos have now turned into one video on our main timeline. We can access all three of the videos in a separate sequence by clicking the main video but on the main timeline, the timeline that we're working in, those three video clips have turned into one. Now, one of the reasons why I love to use a nested sequence is because I can drop effects onto all three video clips at the same time. So if I were to add a zoom onto this sequence here, I'd create a keyframe on position, scale, move over a few seconds, add a zoom in. And when we play this back, everything zooms in at the same time. Now, if I go into the nested sequence and I wanted to add this animation onto all of these clips individually, first of all, I'd have to go and add the animation to every single video clip. And secondly, different clips have got different dimensions. So this top clip is 1080. This clip in the corner is a 4K clip that's been compressed. And then this video here is a 1080p black video that has been shrunk down in this video. So it's going to be very confusing to keep track of what numbers I need to be inputting into the motion in order to get the correct zoom. So it gets very confusing very quickly and it really slows down the editing process. So adding these clips into a nested sequence is going to help me to add effects and different things onto all of the video layers at the same time. Now let's talk about a subsequence. Now, in order to create a subsequence, we're going to follow the same steps as a nested sequence. So we're going to select all three of these videos. We'll right click and rather than go into nest, we'll go down one and select make subsequence. Now it looks like nothing has happened, but if we go over into the project tab, we've got sequence 01 underscore sub underscore 01. That is our subsequence. So all of the clips have been thrown into their own sequence. But if we go to the main timeline, all three of these videos are still there. They haven't been compressed into one video. This basically means if you didn't want to compress everything and you needed everything to be on the timeline, then it's there. Now, the reason why I would use a subsequence over a nested sequence is if I wanted to save a specific section. So let's say I'm working on a video, I'm working on a music video for a client and there's a section that I'm really happy with and I don't want this section to be affected. I would select all of the video clips in this area. I would create a new subsequence and that would drop all of those video clips into their own subsequence, which means if I affect the video on the original timeline, I've got the subsequence saved as a backup, which means I can just take that footage, throw it back into the main timeline, and I'm good to go. So essentially, both nesting and subsequencing a sequence is basically throwing footage into another sequence. The difference though is nesting collapses everything into one video and subsequencing keeps everything intact. So there you go. That's the difference between nesting and subsequencing. Thank you for watching this video.